<laughs> oh, come on, phone. Work with me. Here we go. Strap yourself in. Brrr. Turn that off. Turn this down. How are we all, guys, out there in Facebook land? It's Thursday night. It is the 2nd of February. And if anyone can tell me why this date is very special, throw it up on the screen. See if you can have a guess of why today is such a special date. There should have been a lot more fanfare than there is about this date. And I'm, uh, I'm kind of kicking myself. I've been a bit busy today uh, with a few, uh, a few new cool products that have arrived in the shop, a few little announcements um, on some specials, which I'll run you all through now in case you haven't seen it. But... Um, if you're, if you're at home, tag in, say g'day. Tag a mate in to say, you should watch this idiot, Stilo, in Narragin, in WA, talk about random stuff that's happening uh, in the world and the industry and some product reviews right now. But um, today is a very cool day. Now, uh, I want to start the show by uh, a quick shout-out to um, uh, big uh, Jason Dietrich, uh, big Shrek, who turned 40 yesterday. I'm um, fucking the worst bloke in the world. I completely missed it, but we're blokes and we're allowed to miss other blokes' birthdays. But... Um, he's over there in QLD. Uh, happy birthday, big fella! You're not even watching yet, but you'll see this later. So, uh, hope you had a great day over there in uh, in QLD. Um, and we're going to wrap into a few little quick things in the show. Um, we missed you guys last week. Uh, last week was obviously a stray day. Hope everyone had a great day uh, for a stray day. Did something Australian? I did. I wagged work. In fact, I wagged it for the whole fucking weekend. We stayed the whole weekend off. Pulled a sickie. Took the missus and the kids down to Bremer Bay. My, uh, my favourite place in the state. Um, you should all not go there because it's terrible uh, and leave it to me. But it was really, really good. VJ, g'day, how are you? G'day, Linda. Um, <laughs> hey, Brian, how are you? Dougie, how are you? Yeah, he might be awake. He might be asleep. I don't know. Um, she did take me. Hey, um, on a side note, uh, EST1978 in Narragin. Tab them on Facebook. They've got these little edible coffee cups now. Had one a day. Could do with a bit more sugar. But it was cool, really cool little concept um, in the little re reusable or non-reusable coffee cups. But, you know, good for the environment and all that sort of good stuff. And everyone knows that I'm all about that, being good for the environment. But it was cool. So uh, if you're in Narragin and you come to see me, go and see them. Get a coffee from them first in the little uh, in the little uh, edible cups. And away you go. I kind of want a bit more biscotti, um, Linda, I'll be honest with you. I want a bit more sugar in, the, uh, in it. But, uh, no, it was good. I ate the whole thing. Lasted for about an hour. Still not soggy on the outside anyway, but um, yeah. Felix from the Kebab Shack. Yeah, we'll get across there and we'll, we'll say that. Oh, fifth, fifth Cafe in WA. That's exactly right. So we're, uh, we're super trendsetters here in Narragin. Not only do we have awesome coffee, we also have edible coffee cups. One of only five places um, back. I noticed I was down to one sugar, don't worry. Um, look, it was kind of funny. It was a bit of a funny thing. And this is going away from Steelers Guns and Outdoors talking about coffee, but... You kind of you drink it, and then you want to have a little nibble, and then you kind of got to nibble right so you don't break the whole cup. And uh, there was a bit of uh, there was a bit of strategy involved. I'll be honest. So um, next time you're down, big fella, we'll, we'll get you down there. And we'll get you on a. I'll get you an edible coffee. You'll love it. Edible coffee cup. So Australia Day um, was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I know I had no sugar. Don't worry, it was noted. Um, G'day, Brian. How are you? Um, it was, uh, Australia Day was on. Kel, how are you, mate? Australia Day was on. We are away doing some product testing. Um, took the big rig down and... Um... <laughs> no, it's not. It's not naughty. Well, I don't know. It could be. But um, down, to, down to Caravan and the kids down to uh, Bremer and um, had an absolute fantastic time. Stayed at the um, Beaches Caravan Park down there. Shout out to those guys. I know you're not watching because you don't know who I am down there, but it was a bloody awesome caravan park. If you want to go down there, the beaches uh, Caribbean Park was wicked. Greg, how are you, mate? So uh, a couple of little things I want to talk about. I'm going to leave you talking to yourself in two seconds. Right, so the first one I want to mention. Um, look, there's a cracking deal. There's some awesome deals going on. Like, there's price rises everywhere, right? Um, and we just got caught out by one. We had a price rise and then... Uh, <laughs> Then we had a, a special drop on us, which was un, un, unseen, which was a bit of a pain in the ass. But anyway, in terms of uh, in terms of specials, there's price rises everywhere. In terms of specials, there is an absolute cracking special on iAiming thermals at the moment. So if you're in the market for a um, hey Glenn, how are you, mate? B Billy at Billy's Paddock, g'day boys, how are you? So if you're in the market for a thermal, these are absolutely a fantastic little product. Um, I've reviewed these before. I think there's one on Facebook, hopefully, for me. But these are absolutely wicked. Um, yeah, built the thing out of the thumbs up. It's good It's good for me. 
Um, but these are absolutely fantastic. Um, they're a, a quasi Australian product, so you won't see a lot of views on it when you're um, Googling out there looking for you know, the blokes in um, Europe or, or wherever else using thermals. But they are actually a really, really good unit. I have tested them myself. This is the top line one. This is the 612. Why are they so good still, I hear you ask. Well, these, and I'm, I'm going to say uh, it's the 2nd of February 2023, right? So for time stamping, this is where it is. So these at the moment, Naya, the importer, uh, Naya, have, have offered a cracking deal on these at the moment. So these used to be somewhere around 5.2, five 5.5, and a half, depending on where you're buying them. These are now 4.1. At our store, so four thousand one hundred bucks. Uh, I think it's on for the month or until stocks run out. The next model down, uh, the six one seven, is three three twenty five. The bottom entry level, uh, which is still fucking good, the entry level is still a pretty good unit. Looks exactly the same. They just changed the resolution and the the uh, sensors uh, inside the pixels on the on the screen that you look at. Um, but they're twenty six fifty. So if you've ever been thinking about a thermal, and you want to jump into something and uh, have a go at it, that... <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking at the comments. This is, a, uh, this is a great platform to start off with. They do have a one-shot zero, so you shoot a target. It uses some sort of white man wizardry magic and, and corrects you for a shot um, back onto it. I didn't believe it. It works. Um, they've got multiple reticle patterns. They Bluetooth out, um, or wirelessly, out onto your phone. So you can run a phone or a tablet. You can still have the same image. So whatever image you've got on your screen, you can have on your tablet. You can hook this up on a remote uh, and remotely use it as a spotlight and, and have the tablet so you don't actually have to have it gun mounted. Or you can have it firearm mounted. So they are absolutely awesome. Yeah, thanks, Jimmy. He's bought two, you poor bastard. You paid full rip. And um, these are sensational and sensational buying um, and I don't want our fellows in WA to miss out on the, on the great deal that we've got going at the moment, you know, because who knows how long it's going to last for, and tomorrow they could be back up through the roof or the next day. I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah. So multiple pallet adjustments you can do, multiple reticle patterns you can have, different gun profiles loaded in. They take um, 18650 batteries, so the other thing I like about these is they just take a standard battery, so you're not locked into buying, you know, a, a, you know, a crazy battery. So standard 18650 batteries. They come with a pick rail um, adapter, so they bolt on a pick rail on your on your firearm if that's what you're going to put it to. Um, what else do we need to know? Um, that's pretty well it. Yeah, they work for um, either Apple. So they they when they're Wi-Fi, they work on an Apple product or um, Android. So you know I run an Android because I'm different and uh, and better than Apple. No bites there. Just checking. And um, and away we go. Um, as far as um, as far as internal protection or external protection, they're IP67 rated, so they'll stay in the rain and they'll still work. They are a bloody great product. So if you want one of those, tell your mates, belt into us as soon as you can, get your orders placed. Uh, we don't have um, hardly any of them on the shelf at the moment. We're just sort of ordering them in as they need it. Um, they're, they're normally air freighted across, so you'll get them pretty quick. Hey, big Shrekky is on. How are you, mate? Um, so that's, that's one new product that's, that's on the shelf. Well, it's not a new product, but it's a fucking cracking good deal and you want to get a hold of it. Another new product... Uh, what? So we've got a couple of new products, uh, and then we're going to look at a gun real quick. So um, we've got uh, Girls With Guns. Look at that. Girls With Guns. I know that's backwards. Uh, electronic earmuffs. Uh, they're a little bit smaller cup size than the normal traditional stuff we get. So, you know... I've got broad shoulders. I hear a lot of complaints from people saying that, um, you know, they're, uh, <laughs> is there a restrictive store credit? I wish there was, mate. I'll tell you. I'm even, um, I'm amazed at, at how crazy that pricing is. But um, no, there's not. Sorry. Um, <laughs> the uh, the cup sizes, you know, the girls complain that, that for, for, you know, rattles around in the ears and, and they want smaller cup sizes. So um, Girls With Guns is a brand, smaller cup sizes. Yeah, see? I knew we were going to go down that line. I knew it. I love it. Um, <laughs> exactly. And because this is a family show, I'm not going to say shit. Um, but uh, Girls With Guns, they're in store at the moment, ready to go. And instead of being like a pinky for the girls that don't like pink, but I don't want black like all the other boys, they are in store, ready to go. Electronic. So the idea is you shoot, it cuts noise off. Or around the home. I actually use not this particular one, but a set in the shed in the workshop. Um, you know, you leave them on. As soon as the angle grinder, I fire that up, cuts them out. Beautiful. Uh, we've got a couple of bags. So for the tactical Tims out there, this is where you want to you want to look at. And I'm not saying that offensively. Yeah, edible ear cups. Um, 
we've got some uh, little pouches so to hold your range gear. So for the guys that are in the PRS sort of scene or starting to shoot long range or just like cool shit, this is a cool man bag uh, from from Allen. It's it's they're, they're called their uh, Tac Six range, um, and this is just a little personal accessory pouch. What I want one steal like well, because it's fucking Molly. So you can add it on a pack, or you can add it on another bag to make yourself look extra cool. What? Um, yeah, I've got some, Ronnie, but uh, you just take the batteries out and pretend they keep working, mate. That's a little trick. Um, so you know you want to keep your, your wallet in here, your passport, stuff for the range. Um, you know, uh, a box of bullets, things like that. You can molly it onto something. You can molly uh, on on the front of it. So you can molly smaller smaller pouches, uh, and you can customize it because that's that's cool. Has a little carry handle. The molly system you can run through a belt if you don't want to molly it onto something. So you know the molly system for those that don't know is designed to be weaved in and the bag added to another molly frame. They're very tight, very strong, but you can just use that to clip onto stuff um, and hang it. So they are a very cool little handy man bag, man purse size. Um, or we've got this other one, which is another variation of the Tac Six um, little pocket pouch. The cool thing I like about this one, very very similar to the last. What I want one then if it's the same. Hang on. We'll get there. So the same internals. It's got a couple of little uh, sewn in bands to hold things in. What's it going to hold? I don't know. Your wallet, your phone. Hold that in there. A little protective pocket, which is cool. But the cool thing about this is it has a Velcro tab. So not only does it... Uh, I wouldn't really call that molly on the back of this one. It's more a belt loop. But you can clip that onto something. Onto the car headrest, for example, if you want to carry bullets um, on your belt. So... You know, you can, uh, sorry, you can thread those belt loops through your belt, and then the pouch just Velcros on. So when you want the pouch off, off your Velcro, whoop, away you go. Yeah, plate carriers, that's where it's at, hey, Felix? Plate carriers, everyone should have one. But, um, you know, no, there's a lot of bags. We sell a lot of packs now that have got Molly integrated. We do a lot of Camelback packs um, with bladders and stuff that are all Molly. So it just gives you that, um, you know, a little bit of an interface that you can add to it and, and sort of customise your gear which is real cool because that's what it's about. You know, you don't want to rock down the range with boring old shit or um, hang out with your mates with the, with the same boring old shit. So uh, that's what we've got. What colours? Oh, Steve, give me a call, brother. I'll have a look. I've only got those in OD and I don't think that'll suit you. Uh, Olive Drab or Taliban 10. Um, I don't know if they do black, mate, but I'll have a quick look off air and I'll send you a, um, I'll send you a message. Um, good to see you out there too, mate. Hey, g'day, Shane. How are you, mate? All the all hanging out at uh, Ella Vella up there. Um, or not Alavala, just Carnarvon. But um, uh, the other one we've got is some cool little uh, rear gun bags. So uh, from Allen, a little... Um, these actually are really, really durable. I like the feel of them. The, the Cordura in these is amazing. I'll just get that in a bit, because I keep doing this down there. there. So um, these are... Yeah, there you go. Black and Taliban tan. There you go. Um, these are like a rear bag or a front bag, I suppose you could use it for, for shooting off things. A uh, little elasticated cord there, so you can clip it onto stuff. Clip it on the side of your gun, use it where you need to, or onto the side of your uh, little tactical bag. But they've got a real cool, real hard, non-slip, grippy, like, ring that runs around it. So on the bottom of that, the base of that is real uh, non-slip. Non uh, so for the guys that are, again, into that, started getting that PRS sort of stuff, shooting off things, off obstacles, even on the back of the ute, you can drop that down, drop the, the rear of the butt in there, and it's not going to skip over your ute. It's going to stay there, uh, and it's a very, very good little bag. Um, priced very well as well. What's it priced with? I don't know, but it's going to be a cracking deal. I think they're sort of 35 ish um, in the dollar mark. So they're not, not bad. But they are cool. I am. So, uh, look, drum roll, please. What I want to do is. Um, no, nah, it's not Dougie's birthday, is it? Dougie, tell me it wasn't your birthday today as well. You're fucking killing me if it was. No, nah, yours is. Dougie's is later on in the year, I'm sure of it. Yeah. Anyway, so what? While well, we sort that mess out, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this. So we're going to do a little bit of an unboxing here at the moment. So um, look, this is a product you don't see. You don't see it a lot in. Uh, hey, Maddie, how are you? You don't see a lot of these around. It's a bit of a new sort of thing uh, for ATA. And when I say you don't see a lot of them around, because it's new, yeah. So ATA have been around for ages, building shotguns. I've done a review. Uh, if you check our Facebook link, um, our Facebook, sorry, our YouTube link, which again, um, thanks to Hides for tidying all that up. Whoop. Um, there is a little bit of a, um, there's a little bit of a, 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 a go on in there, a bit of a review on the Turqua, the ATA Turqua. So when they first come out, 
Now, this is a model of Turqua. Um, this is their practical tactical, which I am excited to have. We ordered this, oh, I don't know, about oh, forever ago, it feels. Um, and they've only just come in the shop. So, first of all, like, I love the Turqua products. They're all boxed up in, like, you know, memory foam. They give you a little bloody ATA hat, which is always, you know, it's the little things, hey, that count. Um, and the guns all come wrapped in their own little special blanket, much like uh, Lithgow's. They're all, like, nicely wrapped when they come, which is cool. Oh, I'm going to get this big girl out. Ugh. One brandy point. What do I get a brandy point for? I get a brandy point or someone else gets a brandy point? Ooh. Who gets a brandy point? You're killing me, Shrek. I want a brandy point. Ooh. Here we go. So, I'm going to flip the camera. So, the ATA Turk, what I love about this, this is the practical tactical. So, for the guys that are doing a bit of a cross, a bit of a cross, um, oh, you know, a, a cross application. So, we have lots of guys that want to, you know, down here, they want to shoot on the weekends. They want to shoot, I want to shoot a fox or a pig or something. And, um, yeah, I know. But she hasn't heard. She's over in the background. She hasn't heard. But what she's done, uh, if you're not aware at home, we do have a YouTube channel that I've been just dropping random shit on there for the last, I don't know, nearly nine years. And um, the missus had a, had a couple of weeks off the shop, but not off the shop. And she's tidied it all up and, and got it in a a, a, a way that's very uh, transparent and followable, followable. So a little menu system. And it's it's pretty cool. I like it. So uh, if you want to have a look at some gun reviews, have a, have a look at that. The, the good, honest... Paddock for reviews from uh, from good old Uncle Steelo, uh, and thanks to Hides, it's all there. So um, the, yeah, the Turco. What I like like about these guns for starters is they use like the the three log locking bolt system. Now I'm not a gunsmith of any type, but you know uh, the way pressures activate in chambers, um, three lugs, got to be better than two lugs. Yeah, more even pressures, and and other guns do that as well. So things like uh, Rugers are into it. Uh, Lithgows are into it, uh, just to name a couple off the top of my head. So they are very cool. I'm just going to do this because this thing is flipping around and it's driving me bananas while I'm in it. The other thing I love about the Turquoise is they all give you a factory pick rail. So again, um, oh, and it was a fluted, I don't know if you saw that, it's a fluted bolt, which is kind of pretty. I don't know if it does anything functional, but it looks cool. Um, the, the other thing they do is all their guns coming out with a factory pick rail, which is really, really cool for the, for the price point of the gun. They give you a, like a knurled bolt handle, you know, tactical bolt handle. Again, I don't know why it's tactical, but, you know, it's there. For anyone that, that asked me later, I, yeah, I'll explain it in depth, I'm sure, one day. Now, this is this is a really cool little gun. What I love about this is it's a heavy barrel. Now, that, that is that has been unloaded. You saw me get it out of the box. It's zeroed there. But look at the barrel profile. It is, it is a, I wouldn't say it's a varmint barrel. No, I would. I'd call that a varmint barrel profile. It's a big, heavy barrel. So um, the barrel is nice. Um, it's not like a, a dark black. It's like a grey sort of Cerakote, I suppose. Um, it is a good-looking gun. Um, the stock is something very, very different. It's a laminate stock in, in grey. They've got adjustable... If you have a quick look at that. Look at that there. It's got adjustable uh, spaces in the back. So if your length of pull is a little bit too long, um, you know, you can shorten it up. And I'm sure if it's too short... By the same, you can you can add it. Now the box doesn't come with space. I'm just having a quick look down. The gun doesn't come with extra spaces, but it wouldn't be hard. Um, you know, they're just plastic spaces, right? We can get them made up for you. The stock is adjustable, so much like some other um, stocks we do, uh, that, like the GRS guys. Actually, the GRS guys heads off to them. I'm pretty sure they started this sort of stuff. So this one's tight. You got to get your tongue out to make it work like that. Um, so. An adjustable rear stock, a rear comb on the stock, which is really, really handy. If you've got that higher scope and you want to, you know, get a better cheek weld in it, that's a really good thing. You can't move it from left and right, but you can up and down it, which is really cool. The other cool thing I really love about this stock is, I don't know whether you see there, this is something that's, it's a bit newer to the shooting world, but they're flush cut mounts um, for your uh, for your slings and things like that and, and accessories. So the flush cut mount, the idea is, and I was going to have one out for everyone and I didn't because I'm a dickhead, but... They push in and pull out. So the flush cut mounts are really good. So when you want your gun clean, you, you, you push and pull. Your sling comes out in about two seconds. I'm just thinking, do I have one on the, on the wall? No. Fail. Return a unit. So um, flush cut mounts, really good for slings, sling attachments. Now, a lot of companies just just, just whack one on one. Hey, Joshy, how are you, brother? Uh, Mike, how are you, mate? Um, these guys have put it on both sides of the stock. So on the left, on the right, and then up the front... There's uh, left and right uh, flush cut mounts. So really, really cool. Something you don't have to do to your gun and, and spend money on. They are quick detachable indeed, Felix. 
Um, the other cool thing I really, really like about this gun that they've included is uh, like um, pick rail attachment. So we can um, we can whack pick rail on top of uh, in the in the mounts there. So on both sides again of the gun. So if you want to attach a a light or a laser or a angle slope level indicator, you know we can bolt one on there. They've also included underneath, so it comes with some pick rail at the front that you can either bipod onto the pick or uh, you know convert it back to normal bipod. You can um, change the you know we can put further pick there if you want or another uh, uh, hand grip. You know further back um, we can, and on the on the rear they've they've also got it, so we can we can put um, you know a pod or a monopod or something on the back there if you're shooting range sort of um, practical shooting or on a range, which is really cool. The other cool thing I like about it is the way the, the, uh, the stock is uh, cut in. If you were going to whoop, shoot off a bipod and sort of, uh, you know, use your shoulder to stabilize it and, and free shoot off the front, you've actually got the, uh, the stock cuts in at the back so you can actually, you know, get it, get it right up and nice and neat and pull into your shoulder that, that way to uh, absorb some of the recoil. recoil. So really, really cool. Really, really cool. Flush cut mounts, boys. Magpul make them. So does everyone else. Flush cut mounts. Um, comes with a uh, like an AI style magazine, Accuracy International style magazine, um, and they're bloody tin, which is which is crazy. So in a world where everything's going more and more polymer, these guys are giving you a ten shot double stack mag out of tin, which is really really cool. Um, <laughs> which is which is real cool. Um, and the release is on the trigger guard again. Not not not. It doesn't stick out. They've actually thought about it. Where are we going to put it? Oh, it's right on the front of the trigger guard. Push that in, pull that out, and away you go. So to release the magazine is actually really functional, um, and I like it. It's actually really really cool, uh, as opposed to having a big lever either underneath or in front of the mag or a button on the side. It's actually they've, they've put some thought into it, eh? The boys um, and girls at ATA, they're really really cool. Um, safety's on the side. You know, a lot of safety's going to tang. This one's not. It's, it's back on the side. Um, and it's three positions, so one locks the bolt, one allows the bolt to move and unlocks the trigger and the other doesn't. They do have an adjustable trigger, which is cool. Uh, sorry, my brain's racing, I'm trying to think of all the, th all the things I've got to tell you. Um, but the stock actually feels really nice and the gun lifts and points, again, very, very nice uh, for a, a longer range sort of uh, platform that you're going to use. Probably the biggest criticism of it, because there's always going to be one, right? There's always one, is it doesn't come with a threaded barrel. So, um, but never fear, we can get that sorted out for you. Um, what's the threaded barrel for? If you're watching this outside of Australia, it's not for a suppressor because they're illegal. It's to put a muzzle brake on it, something like this, that will help tame the recoil of the gun um, and make it a lot more accurate to shoot again um, and throws less noise downrange. So, you know, it's not a suppressor, but it just changes the way the noise comes out as well on top of uh, having the benefit of having less recoil and increased accuracy. Uh, hey, Curbs, how are you? From Williams Fox Hunt Shoot. How you going, sister? Hope everything's good. Um, so, yeah, that's that, and does have an adjustable trigger. Uh, the trigger weight goes down to... Yeah, because I'm not going to remember that. No one remembers that shit off the top of the head. Let's, let's be honest. Uh, uh, come on, trigger. We're going point, point 0.8 kilograms to 1.6 kilograms. So, you know, you can have a uh, have a nice uh, nice trigger on a bay. Um, all adjustable within the gun. Sub MOA guarantee. Um, if you have a look at the YouTube uh, channel, we did a test on the base model one of these, which has got a much lighter barrel than 308 timber, um, and it was really, really good. <laughs> yeah, muzzle brake just to make your eyes water and piss off the bloke next year or girl next year when you're shooting. That's what it does. It rattles their hat, blows their sunglasses off them, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, the one that we tested, uh, you'll see on our YouTube channel again. That was a real quick, just a paddock test. That was sub MOA for sure. Um, this one, I, I would be based on the confidence of the, the, the earlier platform, like the Falcon platform. This is more a um, this is more a Fairlane Fairmont platform. This will be this will be something really, really nice. Um, price point, you're looking sub two, like well and truly sub two, um, which is which is unbelievable for what the, what the gun is and what you get in the gun. I think is is exceptional buying. Um, I can't wait. I mean, I, I, I really love the problem in the shop is I really love all this stuff to be mine to be able to say, hey, I'm going to shoot this and it's mine now, but we got bills to pay, so I really can't wait to see who we sell this to um, and how much fun they have with it because it's a cracking platform, an absolute cracking platform. Um, so this this particular one's in 308. Uh, they are available in 243 um, if you want to go a bit old school or 65 Pregmore if you want to go new school. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're available in all calibers at the moment. If you are interested in any other calibers, give us a buzz tomorrow on the phone. Um, we'll get you a, uh, a current price of what they are. And, and availability, we certainly get one in. Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention, it's, you know, it's the little things, right? 
but it has got a chamber indicator. I don't know if you can see that. So there's a chamber indicator there. So when it's not fired, it comes out red, so you can see it. Why are you not doing that? Because the safety's on steel. When you do fire it, so that was just me holding the trigger in, so it's, it's, it's firing without pressure. Um, the two disappears. So that is a really, really cool gun from um, ATA. Um, Five-year warranty on them. I think that's exceptional buying. Um, as I do with all our products, obviously. But that's a really cool bit of kit. So if you're into a 308, or if you want to look at something new, have a look at that. Um, we do have a lot of other 308s as well. Like This is not just the, the be-all and end-all. You know, we've got Lithgows, we've got Rugers, we've got a couple of Savages. My favourite gun, the Sa uh, one of my favourite Savages back in line. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do a little um, talk up on one of those next week because that, that is a personal favourite of mine. Um, we've got some Benelli's. So a couple of really nice Benelli's if you're into something a little bit different, the Lupo's, which we also uh, field tested on one of our uh, YouTube videos as well. So the Benelli Lupo, they're fucking cool. Um, get on board. I think we've even got a couple of tickets out the back. So we've got a little bit of everything at the moment uh, in the shop. Good to go. So that's the ATA uh, Practical Tactical Laminate. Really cool bit of gear. Uh, give us a buzz if you want one, or if you've got any questions, fire them at us. Um, even PM the shop later. Uh, if you've got, a, if you want an eye aiming scope, uh, PM the shop. Get in, get, get on, get in, get on, and get in as soon as you can because they're a good thing. Uh, I'm just having a quick look. Oh, um, if you haven't already, obviously subscribe to our page, um, our little mail out Mailchimp page because we're going to do some specials. Um, this week, uh, we're going to drop some stuff uh, on Friday. Hopefully, if we can get uh, <coughs> it's, it's Heidi's job, if we can get hides onto it, um, there's some things that I want to do, which will be very cool, and I think you'll like it. Including, we'll put information on the IAMI stuff. How do you find that? It's on the Facebook page. Um, uh, there, this is the little outdoor live. It's a beautiful night in Narragin. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. There's the police going past. I don't know whether you saw that. There's heaps of people at the pub, which is good. Pub's going off. Snack chat's going off. Um, yeah, no, nah, it's good. See, we, we keep an eye on who's at the pub and who's not at the pub, which is good. Oh, if you didn't see it as well, jump on to uh, WSWA WA Facebook page. There was a bit of shit going on at the moment. Um, a bit of shit. That sounds bad and disrespectful. Uh, but from the Queensland shooting, um, or from the Queensland uh, assassination of the coppers in December, uh, the anti-gun guys have jumped up and they're, um, you know, Got national cabinet to sort out the gun the gun issues in Australia because it's out of control. You know we don't have floods and famine and people riding in streets anywhere. It's all all, all the bad gun, gun guys. So um, there, there was a little bit of a story on the uh, on uh, the seven thirty report. Um, WSWA uh, had a little bit of a say on it uh, out of WA, which is pretty cool. It's a national publication and and it was mentioned in WA. So we see Facebook doesn't even want to do it. The dongle doesn't want to listen. But uh, jump on their Facebook page. There is a link. Um, if you are a gun person, jump on the, the 730 Report uh, page as well and just see, um, you know, throw, throw, just have a look at the comments. Um, you know, we do get a hard time in gun world. We are blamed for everything. Um, you know, when there's a massive uh, massive bunch of overdoses, you know, people don't write at the chemist and say that, that the chemists are, are, are killing everybody because of the drug overdoses. So much the same in the gun industry, we seem to be the butt of everybody's... Um, everybody's everything you know the criminals go wild and it's all our fault you know criminals go wild i will we'll, we'll attack the uh, the law abiding garner out there so have a look at their comments have a look at the 730 report there is a link uh from the double wa web uh, facebook page sorry linking back to uh 730 report have a quick look at the report it's only about eight minutes of time it's actually not bad yeah curbs exactly we'll blame the legitimate gun owners and not the criminals and there's a whole lot of there's a whole raft of stuff that the um anti-gun guys are, are looking at uh, one of them is a national registry, which is neither here nor there. Uh, uh, but one of the things they want is like a postcode by postcode registry, so you can check in and see how many people are owning firearms in your postcode. Well, they don't do it. They don't do it. Oh, Felix, I'm going to ignore you soon. Um, <laughs> the, um, why not have both? Um, uh, they, they want postcode by postcode. Like, we don't do it for uh, pedophiles. We don't do it for um, burglars. We don't do it for drug dealers, uh, you know, murderers, rapists, any of that sort of stuff. So... Um, there's, there's a bit of, you know, argy buddy stuff. You, you, you want to keep your foot in the door about what's happening in the gun industry. If you're anywhere, um, if you're anywhere around it, if you're, if you're using firearms in any way, shape or form, even recreationally, um, because you're still part of it recreationally, you're, you're tarred with the same brush, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, have a, have a look at that. It's, it's interesting. Uh, and it's interesting, the, uh, the 730 report, um, obviously it's an East Coast based centric, 
um, lefty centric sort of place. So yeah, jump, jump, jump on it, and uh, you know make your make your make your ideas heard, I suppose. And hopefully we get some truth in reporting. One of the good things they did have out of the report, and I don't want to ruin it, but uh, gun ownership is on the rise since Port Arthur steadily, which shows you a couple of things. Shows you number one that. Uh, the firearm sport is is all involving, and everybody uh, everybody wants to um, see it. Yeah, give me a bloody pizza, Mark. Um, uh, every, everyone's taking up the sport more, even despite all the challenges uh, and all the roadblocks that registries and government put in the way. People see it as an all inclusive sport, uh, and and when I say sport, I don't mean just shooting at the range. I mean shooting on on, on private properties involving your kids and your missus, and, and they get out into it, uh, and that they are. Um, you know, the, the antis are worried that there's there's more guns owned by less people. It's because one gun doesn't do everything, just like a golf stick. So, um, yeah, it's it's a really it's a there's some cool things to take out of it and some cool things to start getting ahead of. And and unfortunately, we're going to be talking more and more about it as we go because there's things coming, and we want to make sure that we are out there being able to enjoy our sport, our recreation, our pastime, our culture. You know, shooting's been around forever. It is a cultural thing for um, for people to shoot firearms. It's been going for hundreds of bloody years, and we want to stay in it. Uh, <clears throat> moreover, I want to be able to sell firearms so I can pay my bank loan. If anyone from the ANZ bank's watching, I want to be able to pay my bank loan. So that's the main reason we want to keep doing it. No, not really, because it, 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 it's, it's something we enjoy doing, obviously. Um, yeah, I know, Kel. It, it's crazy. Like every time something comes up, it's like the you know the le- the legal shooters. We, 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 we'll take a deep breath. We shouldn't. Again, they don't blame the medical association for illegal drugs. They don't blame the chemists for illegal drugs. They don't crack down on the chemists any harder any time there's another drug bust. Yet, um, you know, for gun owners, it's, it's on the front page of the news. So, you know, I don't know. But I don't know whether to start doing some satirical TikTokies or something to try and get out there and, and, and make that point known. It is fucking ridiculous. Every time it happens, you know, every time there's a hoon cuts up on the road, they don't go to a local Ford dealership and, and, and try and say, hey, by the way, you can't sell V8s. That'll stop it. They do, but they don't. You know what I mean? Anywho. Hey, um, look, from me, that's enough ramblings. We've had a couple of looks at it, some some cool cool new products. A, a cool deal on, a, on an old product. Not that old, but an older product. Um, a cool new gun review. Um, hopefully, uh, we're going to get out and uh, still don't talk. Oh, the world's not ready. Um, we're going to do some, uh, some cool gun stuff. Um, and we've done some cool gun stuff. And... I don't think from the camping world there's nothing new. Oh, Genesis Base Camp. These are running out. If you haven't got one of these, have one of these. Genesis Base Camp. Get on it. Give us a call. We'll send you some. I've got thousands of them. But they're really, really good. Um, oh, Kel, no one wants me to do TikTok, mate. I do not have enough time or patience. And I don't have a face for TikTok. I barely have a face for this shit. Let's be honest. But uh, Genesis Base Camp. Get on them. Have a look at them. They're really good. Um, I'm going to love you and leave you till next week. And no one's guessed what actually today is. So I'm going to let you all think on that for next week. Have a... Hey, Milo, how are you? Um, have a think about uh, what today symbolises. I've kept a very low profile. We might post something up, I don't know, maybe on Friday or Saturday about what it was. No, I'm not engaged. No, I'm not married. It's none of that. I did, it wasn't the birth of any of my kids. It's not that. We'll see, we'll see who is a true follower out there and we'll see how you go. Anyway... On that note, have fun, guys. I hope uh, hope this week is great. I hope you get out on the weekend. I hope you shoot some guns. I hope you shoot some arrows. I hope you have some fun with your kids. Oh, shit, Marin season. Far out, I nearly forgot. Marin season, we're still going. Hasn't hasn't dropped off yet. There's still a few Marin to be caught. We still have snares. We still have some bait. We still have those little reef walkers that um, actually from Wild Track. These are a bloody good thing. We went away on the weekend. I, I, I digressed. I was nearly, you were nearly done with me. But these, no, it's not my birthday. Um, but these Oz Ocean shoes. So we had some for the kids. The misses used some all over the rocks on the weekend. Grippy as hell. Um, grippy as hell. They were great. Um, oh, nearly. Nearly. Doug Jura for the win, I think. Nearly. Um, but they were great. So um, we gave these an absolute massive road test on the weekend. And uh, my dongles wants to play up now. I apologise. But they were great. So um, on that note, Marin season's still going. They're good for Marin, good for the dams. And uh, I'm going to love you and leave you on that. We do have a heap of scoop nets still. We've got heaps of traps. We've got yabby traps back in the shop as well for even home. And um, we will love you and leave you. I'll give you the answer after this break. See you guys. Have fun. <laughs>